ladies, ladies, gentlemen, it's noisy face. That's me. And if you missed my last video, it is going to be, you know, up on my YouTube there for your viewing pleasure. But we went ahead and made some of the Disney princesses as witches. And today, we're going to make a few more. I will be referring to this site that I've gone ahead and linked down below that has, you know, some fun facts about the Disney princesses, which we're going to be reviewing in the video today. Like for fun skis, did you know that Anna and Elsa aren't in the official Disney princess lineup? Uh, this is because in the first Frozen movie, Elsa is technically a queen, but, and by the end of Frozen 2, Anna's, you know, still trying to get with boys and do whatever it is she does besides eating chocolate and being oblivious which brings me to my point is that is Anna and Kristoff are they married yet because I feel like Kristoff is like the top tier for Disney princes I hear you out there coming at me already but like no Flynn Rider he's so hot and his real name's Eugene and you know what this Eugene can fuck right the fuck off because if we're gonna sit here and talk about an iconic Eugene We're literally just gonna talk about Eugene Yilang. Oh, by the way, did you know I have a gallery? No, you'd never know because every time you go to load it You gotta you know wait for it to connect That's actually a fun feature that EA directly patched in to make our game more enjoyable. No, I'm shitting you It's annoying as fuck. We're gonna kick it off with my girl Belle. I named her Belle Bookwitch. Uh, now she wants to be a renaissance sim. She is self-assured. She's a bookworm, of course, and she's non-committal. Look, I understand that she don't want to marry Gaston. But I don't think she really wants to marry the Beast either. I would just like to throw that in there. Let's talk about some facts from Beauty and the Beast. I was literally just waiting for that part of the song to finish. Okay, so Belle is the only person in town that wears blue, symbolizing that she's different from the rest of the townspeople. Is that true? Because I feel like LeFou wears blue, maybe just at the end. Anyway, the Beast's real name is Adam. I know this. I actually got a hug from a uh, stage performer because I knew his name was Prince Adam. When Belle and Prince Adam dance at the end of the movie, it's actually animation taken from Sleeping Beauty. Animators were running out of time and just drew over Belle. <laughs> Prince, get the fuck out of here, Rora and Philip. Y'all be old news over there doing whatever the hell it is you do. Only five minutes of this film have no music at all. That's very, uh, intriguing. I had to pick a couple different hairstyles for Belle, but I think this everyday uh, cottage living one, it goes down in a braid and it has a little bow on it. It's just so Belle. Here's where I realized in trying to find a tattoo, she had like 50 million tattoos. I love this shirt. It is beautiful. Oh my god, way to do that in beat to the music, Belle. Dang, that like never happens for me. This is my favorite look. This is iconic, and I am here for it. She's living her like hardcore, like inner goth vibe here. Because I do end up giving her the armband on the other side as well. Gotta find my shoes. She's so cute. Look at her. This is my second favorite outfit because she just looks absolutely adorable. She gotta go buy some baguettes, uh, like always, and not eggs because they're too expensive. Belle's also got this sassy look. Hmm. 
Next up is my 16-year-old girl princess, Jasmine. Now, this is Uncle Pookie, Certified Platinum Paladin's favorite Disney princess. I gave her inner peace. She's uh, very conflicted. I also gave her perfectionist, self-assured, and cat lover. I was, I was grasping at straws here, okay? Let's talk about some fun facts here for Jasmine. She was the first princess played by two actresses. One for her voice and one to sing. Aladdin was modeled after three well-known celebrities. Now, Tom Cruise, I knew. His personality was modeled after Michael J. Fox, which now that I know that, I can totally see. I, did, I didn't know that before. And uh, his clothes were inspired by MC Hammer. Now, just to pause here in a second, you'll, uh, you saw her little airplane tattoo. And that is a call to the song that's playing here. She's going to fly you know, across the whole entire world in one night. Um, the big purple feather on Aladdin's turban falls in his face whenever he tells a lie. Don't make me want to watch uh, Aladdin, guys. You know I totally will. Uh, Aladdin knew from the beginning that Jasmine was a princess. However, the animators changed it because they didn't want it to look like Aladdin fell in love with her because of wealth. Now, Jasmine's outfit here, her everyday, I did find really hard to kind of make her look modern and, and what I thought would convey witch. I mean, I don't know. You be the judge. Anybody could be a witch. Your grandma could be a witch. I'm your grandma. This actually ends up being my favorite outfit that I put Jasmine in. She is absolutely iconic. Uh, she ain't gonna marry Jafar. She ain't gonna hit on Jafar. She ain't even gonna marry Aladdin. You know who she's singing? Kristoff, baby. The motherfucking top tier. Jasmine totally needs some stunner shades. She, you know, she maybe she doesn't swim. She just likes to lounge by the pool and like splash you relentlessly. That sounds like something Jasmine would do, honestly. Yeah, the UGG boots. Gotta, gotta throw in the good pair of UGG boots. Time to talk about 16 year old Pocahontas, River Witch, who I'm uh, made. Her aspiration is outdoor something. I don't remember what that one is, but it's something. Um, and then she's adventurous, active, and a loner. Some facts about Pocahontas is Pocahontas featured the first interracial, interracial romance. Seen in a Disney film. Okay, that's uh, interesting. The film was released on the 400th an Way to be diverse, <laughs> Walt. The film was released on the 400th anniversary of Pocahontas' birth year. Um, it was created at the same time as The Lion King. The Disney animators allegedly fought over which film they worked on. Pocahontas was the more popular of the two because it was believed it would be more of a hit. Boy, was was that a belief? <laughs> a belief of something. Every scene was rewritten at least 35 times. And it's one of two Disney films that actually tells a true story, though, you know, as, as, as best as Disney can do with that. I feel like if you're gonna have a chance to use the vampire ear spike, it's for it's for Pocahontas. It's probably good that y'all don't see me like in between here deciding which clips I'm gonna use because I'm like rocking out hardcore to Disney music. I will never not sing Disney songs. I'm I'm just saying. Let me 
just say something right here. Do you, do you, can you imagine John Smith's utter terror when he meets not only a talking tree, but a grandma talking tree? Like, that, that is the literal stuff of nightmares. This is probably my favorite outfit of what she wears. Like, I would want to go talk to this girl on the street. She just looks super cool. She's got kind of a vintage vibe going on. Werewolf pack coming in hot. We got another 16 year old coming in here. We got Mulan. She's the uh, dragon witch. She wants a successful lineage. She is family oriented. She's loyal and she is also clumsy. And learn facts from Mulan. So she's the, she's the first Disney princess to not actually be a princess. Mulan was only the second Disney princess the first being Aurora to have two living parents. Since then, Rapunzel, Merida, and Moana have joined the ranks. That's crazy to think about. But you, as, as, as far as I know, true. Uh, Mulan, 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 is only the second Disney princess to wear pants. The first being Jasmine. And Mulan had one actress voice the character and another sing her song. I, th I happen to think that is the best sleepwear you could ever pick for Mulan. Um, I do love this party outfit. It's absolutely adorable. I also love her in this snowsuit. She's just she's just all around cute. You, you have to admit. That's gonna go ahead and end this Disney Princess as Witches cast video. I hope you're enjoying the series. If you like it, uh, leave me some comments. Tell me, uh, you know, what you would like to see besides maybe like Disney sidekicks reimagined or maybe. Disney villains as like Disney princesses. If you got some ideas, drop them, let me know, and uh, I will see you in the next one.